the winner of the fourth screen accurate infinity gauntlet will be announced this coming week. To enter, all you have to do is like this video, subscribe, turn on notifications, and let me know in the comments below what your favorite MCU moment is. The Mark 50 Iron Man armor that we see in Infinity War has been described as the peak of Tony Stark's intelligence, and by far is the most powerful and durable Iron Man armor that we've seen to date, outclassing all of the other armors by a huge margin. This is in fact the ultimate form of Iron Man. Tony Stark has mastered nanotechnology and is using it to its highest degree. The armor is so powerful in fact that it's capable of venturing into space, as well as capable of using pieces of itself to create new weapons and structures for Tony Stark to use at will. This including, but not limited to, swords, hammers, and cannons. The repulsor technology in the suit is also far more advanced than any before it, using it in different forms. The repulsor technology can even be made more powerful and dangerous as it can shape into differing form. We saw this most prevalently in New York with Doctor Strange, when together Tony Stark and Strange fought off a few of Thanos' children. But for this video in particular, I would like to talk about an ability that the Mark 50 has that was not shown off in Infinity War, an ability that Tony Stark has built specifically into his suit to combat other Avengers. After the airport battle in Civil War, Iron Man learned a great lesson from Ant-Man. He learned in fact that his armor could be penetrated by something or someone small enough, or in the case of other beings such as Vision, things capable of phasing through his armor. Tony Stark in fact saw this as a major weakness, and a weakness that had been exploited in the past. In Age of Ultron, during the Battle of Sokovia, Tony Stark witnessed Vision destroy Ultron Bot upon Ultron Bot using this phasing ability. Because of this, Tony Stark developed a new aspect of his suit that is exclusive to the Mark 50, known as surface reforming and augmentation. Within this is built anti-phasing tech. What's exclusive to the Mark 50 armor is it's the only Iron Man armor that's completely sealed. This means there are no openings on the exterior of the armor. The armor itself, again, unlike any other Iron Man armor, armor is one solid piece. Therefore, beings with capabilities and powers such as Ant-Man could not penetrate the armor and damage it from the interior. If this fails though, Tony Stark has a second phase to this new ability planted within his armor. If Vision was present and attempted to phase through the Iron Man Mark 50, the nanobots would begin to vibrate at an intense frequency, this frequency counteracting Vision's power, and therefore he would not be able to phase through the Iron Man armor. This is something that Tony Stark took into account again specifically after the events of Civil War, as well as one of the many reasons why this Iron Man armor is the best at surviving in space, and is one of the most durable Iron Man armors ever possibly only second to the Hulkbuster Mark I and Mark II. But that is one of the many hidden and secret powers that the Mark 50 possesses that we did not get to see on display in Infinity War, and I definitely thought it was worth a video and is a phenomenal touch to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. As we know, Tony Stark learns from every single battle that he's involved in, always improving his armor, and after his encounter with Ant-Man in Captain America Civil War, it makes sense that Iron Man would make this change to his new armor. But anyway guys, Leave your thoughts on this part of the Iron Man armor in the comments below, and did you know about the aspect of this new armor before this video? Again guys, don't forget to enter to win a life-sized infinity gauntlet of your own, subscribe to join the team, and have a great day.